of that. I'm just like so excited because I remember that first day he was in the studio with Tyler, Tyler Johnson, who we just talked about before. And he, Tyler played him some of the new album, played him the song called Forgetting You and I'm Alone. And Sam loved it and said, I'd love to, I'd love to run with her. <laughs> and Tyler was like, cool, well, she's down the street. So <laughs> popped on in and got to play guitar and write this song that just means so much to me. Palace is like, I just remember as I was growing up and things weren't working out every now and then, like it's just somebody you loved that you thought was it or a job that you thought you were destined for that doesn't end up being the thing you're destined for. or Just all the things that you, you want really bad that don't happen and you think to yourself like, what a waste, what a waste of my time to have done that, you know, and to try for something, you get so upset with yourself. And I think it's so important to, well, it's so important for me to tell myself, I guess, but if you put your whole heart into something and you do what is really you to try and be in that space, like you make yourself better, you make the world better, like, and this line that we wrote into this song, real love is never a waste of time. That's something that I always needed to hear growing up, so I hope it's that's wonderful to other people, but basically Sam singing it to me is my, <laughs> what I imagine. But it's, the song is like, I really always wanted to write something kind of like Billy Joel, the um, In every heart there is a room, a sanctuary safe and strong, to heal the wounds of lovers past, until a new one comes along. I love, I love, I love that song. And for me, maybe because I'm psychology oriented, I was like, what if it's in your brain? <laughs> what if this place is like, you are building up where you think you'll live for the rest of your days with this love, you know? So you're building in your mind this grand palace. And when it doesn't work out, you just abandon it and you decide not to go to that space in your mind anymore. And every now and then when you're like, you know, by yourself probably, and you're visiting old spaces like that, I picture that you walk into that old part of your mind and it's like this rundown, ruined, moss, dust covered palace. And I picture it Russian. <laughs> and it's like, just so, like it, like it once was just so opulent, you know? And now, like I always picture that, walking in on that and just being like, this is what could have been. And just how tragic it is, the more beautiful it once was. And this song is called Palace and I know I'm not Sam Smith, but I'm gonna sing it for you anyways. You're better. Oh. <laughs> Say it louder. <laughs> what was that you said? <laughs> no, I, I'm i so excited to tour with him. He's one of, I think you guys probably know this as fans, that in country music we're really, I think, lucky that a lot of the artists, if you decide to be, you know, ungrateful and kind of a jerk, I don't think we put up with it, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so you, you find a lot of grounded, people because that's the whole point it's like people's music you're supposed to relate to it so sam though for someone who's not in country music i got it i vouch for him you guys like he is a really good human being so it's i'm so excited to be on tour with him this summer you should come see us okay so this is palace <laughs> Most of them I built with you. Now the dust no longer moves. Don't disturb the ghost of you. Oh, 
Sometimes I wish that we never built this path.